Not a good cover, okay? <laughs> and the reason it's not a good cover is because, look, it's plastic, you okay? Read them all? It comes off, and then here's the foam. All right, the Not only good much. thing about this cover is this back piece, because this is where most of the, the technology, the computer base is there, and it covers the phone. But having the cover is not the main thing. The main thing is like, for example, if I'm sitting in my car, and I keep, instead of putting the phone on a charger, or putting it in a case, I keep it on my lap, right? Is that a good thing? No, because no. it's on my leg. It's also near some of my vital organs. Now. If I put it on my lap for one day, is that going to make a difference? No. But let no. me tell you something. I'm going to be honest with you. There have been times where I've left the phone, I'm driving the car, and I'll leave, I'm driving the car, and I'm like this, and suddenly I'll get a pain in my leg for no uh, reason. And crash. As soon as I move the phone away from my leg, it feels better. It feels really bad. Now, that's pretty, that's pretty scary. Yeah. I'm not even lying to you. And when I'm in school, I have the phone in my, 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 my pocket. I'm walking around school, you know, teaching the kids. And all of a sudden, I get like this, this pain right here, and I go, what? And I say, I'm going to move the phone, so I just scratch my chest. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, you know what? And then I put the phone down, and the pain goes away. So I'm not saying that it's completely 100%. But what I've noticed is, any time I put this phone down on me, it causes an uncomfortable feeling. Now, I don't know what happened to Steve Jobs. I don't know why he got that pain for out of cancer. It could be any one of those things, stress. Diet. Smoking, family history, drinking, diet, but he, he's dead. Okay, <laughs> Look, so there you go. He just came to life right there. <laughs> All right, so now that's what hey. you got to think about. Yeah, take one more what question. What did Steve Jobs? Or what did he? Well, he was creating the iPhone four. Did he have like stress making it? Yeah, I'm sure he did. Listen, think about it. Look, you're talking about creating something that you're going to launch to the world, huh? When is lunch? Oh, the lunch is coming. But the whole point is, when you're talking about, when you're talking about creating something like that, you want to make sure that there are no problems because you want the world to buy it. So the idea is, yeah, he's got a lot of stress. Yeah. But then I thought um, my teacher told me that Steve Jobs, like, even if he died, like, the Apple stuff will still go on because, like, some of, like, the stuff is actually not really his idea. He just buy it up. Right. That's true. Right. What Steve Jobs does is he takes kids like you guys, like you guys got some really cool ideas, right? Now, if your idea is really cool and it's well developed and you write it out, you could sell it to him. They'll say, okay, look, I'm going to buy your idea from my iPhone. But guess what? Once you sell the idea to me, then you can never claim that you came up with it. Then he says, well, this is my thing. And he pays you good money. He'll say, look, I'll give you $100,000 for that idea. Sweet mom. He's like, yeah, man, that's good. I'll take $100,000. So then he takes that hundred. He takes that idea. He puts it into all the applications. He makes a hundred million dollars. What? What? So the idea is, yeah. Does he? Are they in the business of buying and selling ideas? Yeah. Who else buys and sells ideas? Rich guy. The richest guy. 